Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about a couple inductors and we're going to start with the inductors first and then we look at the couple inductors and also the dot conventions for the couple inductor symbols and uh, along the way we're going to have a couple of examples. As always I'm, I'm putting the um, link to the Google Colab notes for this lecture in the uh, description below and feel free to leave any comments if you have and today I think I'm going to cover this lecture in three video clips it's fairly short ones I believe hopefully uh, let's start with the inductors and you may um, remember you learned the inductors the symbol for the inductance is just these right? and you have the voltage and you have a current IT and the induction is L and you know the voltage VT is equal L di dt right and today we're going to look at a little bit further and what the actual inductance look like right here I have a picture of the inductance so I have the winding the that causes n turns winding of n turns of wires and the wire is typically the copper wire in turns and this rectangular box is represent the kind of pictorially re represent the magnetic core and the function of magnetic core is to carry the uh, flux phi t is the flux and the uh, current I, the flux actually is equal to phi t is equal to, equal to um, the proportional to the number of turns and also to proportional to the uh, current and then multiply by a constant k and you will learn in the future in the ECE 320 you will learn that what the k really is that's the inverse of the reluctance and then uh, stay tuned on that and oh I want I want to show you the actual uh, inductance I have in front of me. Let me show you, bring the inductance camera here. And uh, this is the uh, inductance we have. So we have the copper wire we call winding. And uh, this N turns, and you can count, I don't really know how many turns, but this in little inductance is 100 uh, microhenry. We used it a couple of times before. Right? And this yellow one is, I think, is painted. Uh, this is the magnetic core. The magnetic core basically carries the flux fine. Inside the magnetic core, that carries the flux. And the winding, this will carry the current, and the current will excite the uh, flux. Okay? Um, and also the voltage, based on the Faraday law, based on Faraday's law, the voltage V is going to be equal to N times d phi t dt right? as the flux changes that will induce the voltage in the um, in the uh, uh, in the winding and the induced voltage is just d phi dt in each turn so you have n number of turns so therefore you have n times d phi dt and if you substitute the phi into this you will get that's going to be equal k and n square di t dt because the k is a constant and the k is positive constant number and if you um if you recognize that this should be the inductance right so that's for the uh, for the uh, inductors and this is the uh, this inductance L. We're going to use this concept later. So you see, the inductance actually is proportional to t and also proportional to number of turns square, right? So if the inductance I we just I just showed you, if we increase the number double the number of turns. Actually, you're going to quadruple the uh, inductance because this is um, proportional to the inductance is proportional to the um, number, the square of number turns. And this is simple introduction of the inductance. 
and we're gonna take a look at the company doctor. 